I would like to invite Ms. Mala Maples. I would like to share a bit of her personality. She's a mother, actress, singer, and dancer. But, but, most of all, she's a humanitarian, an uplifter of humanity. Once married to the current President of the United States. She has a beautiful daughter, Tiffany Trump, who is studying law at Georgetown University. Miss Maples, philanthropy covers various areas such as Global Lyme Alliance, AWARE, NYC.org, Spirituality for Kids, and she has received countless awards. She is producing a new album and continues to travel the world, uplifting humanity and making a difference in our world. We welcome Marla onto the stage, onto the mic, and request her to share her feelings. Miss Marla Maples. Danya Vad, thank you. Thank you, first of all, for welcoming me with your hearts wide open. I feel it, it touches my heart, and it opens my heart to all of you. And when we live a life, what is more important than opening our hearts to others? And I must say, how do we learn and how do we grow the most? But through learning to share love, even when it's difficult. There's many experiences that we have in our lifetimes with others that may not agree with us. We may have very different opinions, but I've found that if there's some way I can tap into my heart and see that person as a whole who's doing the best they can, have had empathy for that soul, then together we can lift the world up in a way that none of us could ever imagine. So I challenge you, as I challenge myself every day, whenever we see differences in people, let's just love them. Let's dig harder to love them and share more love in every way that we can. I live in the United States, and today in the United States there's a lot of challenges, but I connect with so many people who are so full of love, so many beautiful friends from your country that I love with all of my heart. So it's such a joy to be here now with you, experiencing all of the love and all of the integrity and all of the purity that you all have here. I am in awe of what you do and how you share. And I would love to share with you a prayer that came to me as I was just connecting in spirit. And myself and Sister Jenna have prepared something with your people here to share with you from a song that I did called Prayer for Humanity that's on my album, The Endless. So if possible, I'd love to play this prayer for you as a gift to share all that you are sharing with me here, with all the talent and all the artists and all the beauty that is all around me here. I am so, so grateful. So if I could share this with you, I'd be very grateful. A prayer to humanity. This is a prayer to humanity, a calling out, a calling out to the world, to embrace the love that we are. 
the love that we are as a whole. One spirit flows through us all, uniting us in a breath, in the wind, the sky, the sea, the earth, a breath of eternity. Together we can create heaven on earth. We can rise on the wings of angels. We are free. Feel the divine presence. This is heaven on earth. Believe it. Step into the freedom. See the vision. Be the vision. Eternity is now. Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Thank you for all the help in creating this at the last moment to share with these beautiful divine artists which are here, here in our midst right now at this moment. So, in America, I've learned so much about meditation and a lot of that has come from your ancestors and those that have shared so much throughout time from India. I've practiced Kundalini Yoga, I've practiced Ayangar Yoga, I'm learning to meditate with the sisters here, and I find that that is the journey that keeps me so happy and so fulfilled, is learning the similarities between all of us. That is my prayer for humanity, that we can see where we are alike, not where we're different, but where we love, where we care, how we, how we hold our hearts open for our family. And we're all part of one family. I know I'm speaking to a crowd that understands that. But as I go through my life, at times when it can be quite stressful, if I come back to that place where I can connect to the divine that's in me and all people and just say thank you and be grateful, then I am back into my joy. Now, I also enjoy eating healthy. I eat a mainly vegan diet, and I find that I get so much energy from the vegetables. Um, I'm not leaving an imprint on the planet by eating too much meat. We have a situation with our environment, and we have to all pull together to, to do our best to create a world that is, that is free, but is giving respect to our animals, respect to each other, respect to our gardens. I know how to garden. I love to grow fruit from the beginning, grow, plant the seeds, nurture them, cherish them, and watch them grow. Even in New York City, in a tiny apartment, I have a, an herb garden, and to be able to pick this and put it in, a, put it in a, a, a bowl or in a blender and just have it every morning is so good, so I urge you, keep up this work that you're doing to eat healthy and take care of yourself because we are in physical body as much as we love to connect to our soul which is here we're physical so eating well honoring and praying for everything we put in our mouth is such a gift also I'm a big believer again in yoga and the breath of life I should remind myself right now to take a deep breath <sighs> with all of you and just thank you, thank God for this moment that we have on this earth to breathe together, to walk this beautiful land, to look up at these mountains and say, oh, how glorious it is to be here and to be here now. So from my heart to yours, I thank you for sharing your world with me, your sweet smiles. Your smiles radiate my heart and keep me alive. So thank you for that, and thank you for all of you that I'm here to share with today. May we keep doing this, and we will spread it one person at a time around the world. We will do it together as one. Thank you all for hosting me here and for letting me be part of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful event. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sister Marla. Thank you very much, Sister Marla. We deeply appreciate your concern and work for humanity. And we welcome you again and again and again. Come back to India again. Okay?